uh, today. Uh, and I'm very honored to uh, share my experience with you all also, with my great teacher, Sonu Wangchuk, which I spent like more than 12 years in Sagmol. So today I'm happy to stand on the stage, which I, I was used to a shepherd boy in a village called Gya, which is my classmates are sheep, goat, and yak. My uh, class, uh, like my friends are snow leopard, wolves, eagles, and then my class uh, is like, uh, you know, like the nature, that how like I grown up in a small village. But reminding that, I just wanted to uh, sharing my experience learning from wisdom and traditions. I'm not a philosopher at all, so it's very difficult for me to speak about what is a philosophy, being a shepherd's boy in a small village. So I remembering when I'm making my different movies, my father, I think now he is a philosopher, but he never ever been in a school before. There was, uh, when I was like 14 years old boy, I was going in a barley field, it's a big barley field. So me and my brother, we went to in the barley field. There's a small worm going inside. So I'm as a naughty boy, I wanted to kill this small worm. So my father put me her, his hand on my shoulder, Stanzen, don't kill this small worm, you know. I said, why? Because you know when we kill this small worm, tomorrow birds will not come to our field. If we don't have a birds will not come on our field, then we don't have a good crops, you know. I think like, if you don't have a good crop, what do you drink the milk from cows, yaks, and they will not keep the good milk, you know. I never understood this, what he's, this means. So I was just spent years and years just traveling to LA, and then after I've been to European countries for more than 12 years, to my another different movies. There I realized you know, when I'm writing the movie, it called Jumuwa, The Broken Balance, which was selected for COP21 recently. Uh, there was uh, COP21 in Paris. So that was stuck me really like, wow, who he is, you know, who is my father that he was, it's just simple farmer in working only, nobody knows him. So what he give by this, that how I stuck in my mind, that how I wrote this called the Jumuwa, The Broken Balance. And then later, always I was so shy to speak about my village, you know. I always shy to speak about my regions, about Ladakh and all these, you know. So everybody considered Ladakh is backward, Ladakh is, uh, you are living in the regions of mountain, whatever. Then what did happen in, in like, uh, in 80s, you know, all our teachers are coming from Srinagar in Jammu. I still remember those days when I was like 14 years old when I was in the school. All the teachers are sending from Srinagar to Jammu, Jammu from Jammu to Leh as a punishment. When they come to here, they are not come as here for a, they, we wanted to uh, teach to the students, you know, because some teachers are not so doing good things in Srinagar and Jammu, they send as a punishment. As how we live here in Ladakh, we don't have a running, uh, like uh, water, we are, have a different way of living. But then somehow when teacher reach here, when they come to in our school, and I still remember that how totally destroy me and destroy so many my friends also, that how we lose our cultures. And when we go to the school, we used to have a Ladakhi traditional beautiful dress made by my mother, made by my father, made by my community. And we're wearing these days, and the teachers are telling, you know, don't wearing this ugly dress, you know, it is smell, it's very bad smell, you know, don't wearing this, you know. I say, why, you know, this is made by my beloved mother. And then rest other when we are eating champa, the local nutritious foods, you know. When we eating this, don't eat this champa. These are completely, like, you know, it will destroy your health, you know. So we are completely confused. And when we go to the uh, home, we telling to our mother and our father, from tomorrow we don't want to eat any champa, you know. We don't want to eat any other Ladakhi uh, foods, you know. And then why? 
because our teacher says because if we eat sampa, then our brain will not work. You know, if we wearing our uh, what we like traditional days, we look ugly. And then it was so difficult for us. And then parents say, you know, teachers are the like a gods. You know, you have to treat them as like gods. You know, teachers are right. So we making mistakes. You know, that how somehow so we like we lose all our culture. And then at is, I'm really thankful to Ajay Helena and many like uh, Helena Norbeck, who is uh, economic secretary. We all know, you know. And when it's open, like in 70s, when this uh, Ladakh region is open for all the tourists, so we are very thankful. Great like philosopher, great social worker like Ajay Helena who came here in Ladakh, and she said, you know, no, this is wrong. In Lada, in like Western and European countries, we lose all. You know, this is please make this is what called you know you have to, you have the roots. You know, this root is very important. You know, if you lose this root, and then you will be no anywhere else. You know, that's how I should say today. I'm very happy to be a part of this economics of happiness because my Himalaya Film House is also part of this. And then last year, like two years before, I was also. Uh, participating in Japan, like there also I met like uh, many philosophers, many people that how I learned. So uh, this is what uh, I'm trying to bring in my movies till now. I made more than 70, um, like you know, 15 to 16 movies. And uh, then another part, the philosophy and shepherdings and all these I wanted to share. I have been next sessions in uh, shepherdings and then uh, other parts that I wanted to speak about who is my sister, you know, who is I inspire, my great teachers. So who was uh, still living in the mountain and how this is important. I wanted to do this more in the workshop. So thank you so much. Thank you.